time and experiment. So this is the chapter where we get to use this guy. What's this called? Compass. Compass. Use screen capture. Yeah, the other one's in 10. If you open quick type, you're going to find your screen. That's recording right now. What's this guy? Compass. What's that? Yay, Joe. All right, you guys are pretty sharp. Compass. 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 So today I'm going to introduce three terms. Drawing is the first one. No, it actually isn't. The first one I'm going to introduce is called sketch. So here's what, here's what I want you to do. I want you to sketch an equilateral triangle. So I'll do one up here. And you folks who didn't remember to bring your compass, you can play along at this point. So can I go get one from the saddle? You certainly can. Can you get one? Can you me up? No, you can buy it. Oh. I'll buy it. You can buy it. Can you buy it? Hey, Josh. Josh, you owe me $700. Can I go buy a compass? We made yeah. a lot of bets. So there's my equilateral triangle. Isn't it lovely? So what is an equilateral? What does that mean that it's equilateral? Equal length. Equal length. So I should be able to put a, a, a ruler on this and measure its sides that are equal length. So that's about 5.8 centimeters. Five point two. Well, why isn't it equilateral actually? Because you sketched it. I sketched it. Sketched. And when you sketch, so I didn't use any tools, I just used a pencil or a pen and I made something that looked pretty much like an equilateral triangle, but hey, it's a sketch. If I wanted to really assert, so I don't need to worry about the lengths. I really, if I want to say it's an equilateral triangle, I would say that. And you just accept it. And that's okay. So a sketch, you use a pencil, and you go freehand. So let me go to another page. Now, you guys are geometricians, geometers, geometry experts. You've got tools, you've got knowledge. Does anyone know or think they know what the angles are going to be in an equilateral triangle? I do. What do you think? One third of 180. One third of 180. So that would be what? 60 degrees. 60 degrees? So maybe if I use a straight edge and this protractor, I could do a better job. Wait, how long is that? I need to know because all the sides are going to be the same length, right? So that is 8.2 centimeters. And I'll measure a 60 degree angle here. And I'll use my ruler to do another 8.2. You know why that is? I've got one. And it's on the page. So that should be 60 degrees. And this, I don't have any more angles to measure. And oh dear. Oh, man. That came out really, really nasty. Oh. What did I do? That's, well, that's 60, all right. Did I measure something wrong? Oh my god, it's not 8.2, it's 
Not cool. Oh my gosh. Is it beyond the racer? There we go. So, what's that angle? Oh, sweet. 60. Okay. Well, let's not go too far with that. All right, so this is what I call a drawing. I used a ruler and I measured lengths with the ruler. So the ruler is a thing that's got markings on it. And I used my protractor. And it has a thing that has markings on it. So I measured the angle with the protractor. So what do I use? What do I use? With, what are the tools I use for sketches? Freehand. <coughs> tools you use for drawing? Ruler. Good. Ruler. You got that, JJ? Ruler protractor. That seems that seems pretty easy, right? Now, we're going to do something called construction. And there are rules for construction. We use a <laughs> compass. It's one of these things. And straight edge. Which looks like a ruler, but it doesn't have any markings on it. Could you use a ruler in place of it? Since, yeah, straight edges are kind of hard to get in I staples. Can I have one of those, like, bendy rules? Oh, yeah. Since straight edges are hard to get in staples, you can use a ruler. Just don't use the markings on it. So let's see how that goes. I'll make one side of my equilateral triangle. At this point, you guys with compasses should be following along. People with compasses, without compasses, are insanely jealous at this point. Now here's what, you think of this compass as something to make circles with, but we're going to use this compass to make a triangle instead. Oh, that's so cool. And I'm going to use it first just to capture the length of that side. So I'm going to separate the compass until it matches the length of that side exactly. And then I'll put the point at one end. Make an arc there. I'm not making a circle, I'm just making an arc. Now I'll put my compass point at the other end. Make a crossing arc. So I didn't move the compass between when I did this and when I did that. So what do I know about the distance from this point to this arc is the same as is the same as so from this crossing point to that is the same as this to this is the same as this to this well I we we'll we'll find out I hope I did a good job sometimes I screw up but no and at this point, I can take my straight edge and line it up with that intersection point and the end point of that first side. All right. It looks like a windmill, yeah. So how did I do? Six point... Seven-ish. Six point seven-ish. Oh, oh, please. Six point seven-ish. Check them angles. Them. I'm not an English teacher. Sixty degrees. Sixty degrees. No, 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 no. 
Oh, you moved it a little bit. Moved it a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. So I say that's pretty good. Now you can imagine Ellie. Of course you are. You could imagine if I had a nice, big, precise, stable compass, big sheet of paper, fine point. I took some care with it. The, the more care you take with this, the better this triangle would be. You can make, in principle, a perfect equilateral triangle. And there's no... Not in reality. In reality, yeah, the, the compass moves. The paper gets wrinkled. Yeah, if, if you perfect, keep on saying no, thing doesn't get any more. So this is this is like a game. I like it. The rule of the game is you use a compass, you use a straight edge, and you make cool things with it that would surprise you. Now in this chapter, we're gonna. This is the cool thing about chapter three. We are not going to have a test at the end of chapter three. No test. Wait, that makes us a project. Yes, bingo. Darn. There's a project. We will give you time in class, and there may even be an X period thrown in there. Yes. Yes. Um, at the end of this chapter, you will produce something that I call the construction portfolio. You will become masters of geometric constructions using the compass and straight edge. You will do things that will amaze you. I promise you. You will be amazed. And when you get to the end, you will feel good about it. You will like this, or else. What's that?